Monty Kazakh, Monty, Monty, Monty Turkish, Monty, Uzbek, Monty, Monty, Armenian, Monty also Manti, Kyrgyz, Manti Russian, Manti Tatar, Manti Mantu, Pashto, Persian, Arabic, Ement Tajik, Mantu or Manta, Uyghur, Manta Manta, Manta, is a type of dumpling popular in most Turkic cuisines, as well as in the South Caucasian, Central Asian, Afghanistan Chinese Islamic. Nowadays, monti are also consumed throughout Russia and other post-Soviet countries, where the dish spread from the Central Asian republics. The dumplings typically consist of a spiced meat mixture, usually lamb or ground beef in a dough wrapper, and either boiled or steamed. Size and shape vary significantly depending on the geographical location. Monti resemble the Chinese jiaozi, Korean mandu, Mongolian buuz, and the Tibetan momo, and the dish's name is cognate with the Korean mandu, Chinese manto, and Japanese manju. Although the Chinese and Japanese counterparts refer to different dishes, the name, depending on the language, can refer to a single dumpling, or to more than one dumpling at a time. In English, it is often used as both a singular and plural form. History The origin is somewhat uncertain. While the Chinese word, manto, has been suggested as the origin for the word, monti, this word had several different spellings in Chinese in the past indicating that the Chinese attempted to adapt a foreign word to their writing system. Originally, manto was meat-filled. Manto still retains its old meaning as stuffed bun in Wu Chinese as modiu. But in Mandarin and many other varieties of Chinese, manto refers to steamed bun, while baozi resembles the ancient manto stuffed with meat. The most widely held theory of its origins is that migrating Turkic-speaking people brought the mantu dough with them to Anatolia, where it evolved into the Turkish manti. Some variations may be traced back to the Uyghur people of northwest China. When the Tatars settled into the Kayseri region of modern-day Turkey, the area became known for it manti. The dish may have originated in the territories of Mongol Empire. While the etymological link between Man Tou and Monti is debated, there is agreement that the recipe was carried across Central Asia along the Silk Road to Anatolia by Turkic and Mongol peoples. One of the earliest mentions of a dumpling similar to Turkish Monti is written in the 1330 treatise, Yinchen Zhengyao by Hu Sui, the imperial doctor in service of the Yuan dynasty emperor, Bayantu Khan, according to Holly Chase. Turkic and Mongol horsemen on the move are supposed to have carried frozen or dried monti, which could be quickly boiled over a camp fire. According to an Armenian researcher, monti first reached Cilician Armenia as a result of the cultural interaction between Armenians and Mongols during their alliance in the 13th century. Migrating Turkic speaking peoples brought the mantu dough with them to Anatolia, where it evolved into the Turkish monti. When the Tatars settled into the Kayseri region of modern-day Turkey, the area became known for its mandi. Korean mandu is also said to have arrived in Korea through the Mongols in the 14th century. However, some researchers do not discount the possibility that mandi may have originated in the Middle East and spread eastward to China and Korea through the Silk Road. The earliest written Ottoman mandi recipe appears in a 15th-century cookbook written by Muhammad bin Mahmud Shirvani. The version in Shirvani's book is a steamed dumpling with a minced lamb and chickpeas filling spiced with cinnamon and flavored with vinegar. The dish was garnished with sumac and like most contemporary Monti variations, it was served with a garlic yogurt sauce. Many early Turkish cookbooks do not mention a dish called Monti. The first printed recipe book, Melsiyat backquote T. Tabahan, was published in 1844. It includes a recipe for a dish called tatar boregi, which is similar to monti but is not served with garlic yogurt sauce. The first English-language Ottoman cookbook and a third cookbook printed in 1880 includes this same recipe. Another 1880 cookbook does have a recipe for monti, but instead of a dumpling, it is a dish composed of layered dough served with mincemeat and garlic yogurt. This book also includes a recipe of piruhi, a cheese-filled version of the tatar boregi recipe. In Central Asian cuisines Mandi in Central Asian cuisines are usually larger in size. They are steamed in a multi-level metal steamer called matovarka, mantishnitsa Russian terms for mandi cooker, mandi kazan or mandi kaskin mandi pot. It consists of layered pans with holes that are placed over a stock pot filled with water. 
Steaming is the main method of cooking monti, if boiled or fried, they are considered another type of dumpling, such as pelmeni. In Kazakh cuisine, the monti filling is normally ground lamb sometimes beef or horse meat, spiced with black pepper, sometimes with the addition of chopped pumpkin or squash. This is considered to be a traditional Uyghur recipe. Monti are served topped with butter, sour cream or an onion sauce or garlic sauce. When sold as street food in Kazakhstan, monti are typically presented sprinkled with hot red pepper powder. In Uzbek, Tajik and Kyrgyz cuisines, monti are usually made of one or a combination of the following ingredients, lamb, beef, cabbage, potato or pumpkin, with fat often added to meat monti. Monti are usually topped with butter and may be served with sour cream, different types of ketchup, or freshly sliced onions sprinkled with vinegar and black pepper. A sauce made by mixing vinegar and chili powder is also common. In Uzbekistan, monti are also called kaskoni. The same style of cooking monti is traditional for Tatar, Bashkir and other cuisines of the Turkic peoples living in the vast area from Idle Ural to the Far East. It is nowadays widespread throughout Russia and other post-Soviet countries. In Afghan cuisine In Afghan cuisine, the mantu are filled with beef or lamb mixed with minced onions and spices, steamed and then topped with a very typical sauce sear most, lit. Garlic yogurt of yogurt, dried or fresh mint, lemon juice and minced or pressed garlic. The mantu are also typically topped with a very small amount of tomato-based sauce which can include split peas, red kidney beans and or some sautéed ground meat. The amount of yogurt sauce is typically much greater than the tomato sauce. The tomato sauce is meant to be dotted on top, not covering the dish. Chutney, a spicy green or red pepper condiment sauce, may be sprinkled on top. Many Afghans also like to serve mantu with a carrot korma or stew, instead of a tomato-based sauce. Topic: In Armenian, Turkish and South Caucasian cuisines. In contrast to the Central Asian varieties, monti in Anatolia and Transcaucasia are usually boiled or baked rather than steamed and tend to be small in size. A mid-15th century Ottoman recipe has survived, with the monti filled with pounded lamb and crushed chickpeas, steamed, and served topped with yogurt mixed with crushed garlic and sprinkled with sumac. In modern Turkish cuisine, monti are typically served topped with yogurt and garlic, and spiced with red pepper powder and melted butter, and topped with ground sumac and or dried mint by the consumer. Similarly, the Armenian monti, also sometimes referred to as manta, are usually served with yogurt or sour cream and garlic, accompanied by clear soup Monti are more common among Western Cilician Armenians, while among Eastern Armenians, Georgians and Azerbaijanis, similar dumplings called kinkali are more prevalent. Although there are many different variations of monti in terms of shape and way of serving, the most praised type of Turkish monti is known as Kayserimantisi, originally from Kayseri, an Anatolian city. Kayseri mantisi is tiny and served with yogurt, melted butter flavored with Aleppo pepper and seasoning including dry mint and Aleppo pepper flakes. It can also be served with the water or chicken broth it was boiled in, and often in kayseri it is consumed as a soup prior to the main dish. In kayseri, when a couple is engaged to be married, the mother of the groom visits the bride's house and during this visit the bride should prepare monti for her prospective mother-in-law. The smaller the monti dumplings are, the more skillful the bride is considered to be in the kitchen. Traditionally the dumplings prepared for the prospective mother-in-law are supposed to be so small that 40 of them can be fit into one spoon. Monti may be made from shredded meat of quail, chicken or goose in some regions of Turkey, while bas monti empty dumpling lack filling entirely. Tatar boregi is similar to monti. In North Cyprus is traditionally served with grated halloumi cheese and mint. Similarly small dumplings are also found in other Turkic cuisines but they are not considered to be a type of monti. Examples are dushbara in Azerbaijani cuisine and chuchavara in Uzbek cuisine. In Bosnian cuisine In Bosnian cuisine, the name klepe is used. These are made of minced meat with onions. It is served in a sauce consisting of yogurt and garlic. There is also a separate dish called mantij, which is made of the same ingredients, but the pastry balls are put together with no free space in between and baked. 
after the baking yogurt is poured on top. This second type is considered to be a pita or boric rather than monti, and is primarily made in the region of Sanzik. See also Manju, a Japanese confection which also originated from Chinese manto Hingle, a Turkish dish similar to monti.